I'm currently in the process of repurposing this monitor arm to use for my TikTok lives. I already have the light mounted and now I'm working on a mount for the uh, iPad Air 2 that I use. I currently have it on this tripod, but it's super sketchy and it wants to fall over all the time. So hopefully this is an improvement. So I searched the repositories and I found this guy right here, which I think is gonna work just fine especially since it's specifically for the iPad Air 2. And it has the holes for the Visa mount. So I sliced it up in Prusa Slicer, sent it to the printer, and it failed. Somewhere along the line, I ended up with a huge layer shift. This is polycarbonate and it's too expensive to fail, so I thought I would do it again, and this time in PET-G. And it failed again. Same layer, same issue. Only this time it was much worse. So I've determined that the issue is that this is such a large area to put on the build plate that it just builds up too much heat in the middle, which then causes this to warp and do some funny things. And then the nozzle drag across it and got caught probably on one of these holes. And that caused a layer shift. So I made a few changes to the model and ended up with this. As you can see here in the middle, I've omitted a big area. I've also increased the infill in the areas of the mounting screws and I've reduced the infill in the rest of the print. This is actually 8%. And I'll show you how I did all of that in Prusa Slicer. Here we are in Prusa Slicer, and you can see the big hole taken out of the middle. And looking at the model, you can see there's a giant cylinder in the middle, and the way that you place that is, select your model, then right mouse click, and select add negative volume. You can then choose whichever shape you want. I chose cylinder. Once you've done that, you can select your shape or select it in the object tree and modify its size right here. To increase the infill density in the area of the holes, you do basically the same thing. Select the model, right mouse click, except this time select add modifier, and then again, choose whichever shape you want. Then select the shape, change the size as necessary, and then you can either right mouse click on the shape, or you can select this gear in the object tree and select infill, and then change the infill density and type as you like. You can then use control C and control V to copy and paste them and then move it to wherever you want. And I think the print's almost done, so let's go check it. Here it is, and it looks like it turned out all right. Now it's time to install it. And that's another job well done. Thanks for watching.